If there's a market for trains or railways in children's television or media, let's be honest, it's dominated by Thomas. It's established and has lasted through multiple generations, reaching millions of children. That doesn't mean it's alone in doing such, though. Just because we've talked about it more extensively doesn't mean Thomas is the only show to try. There's Chuggington, uh, Mighty Express, uh, shows about train... Oh, oh yeah, Dinosaur Train. Point being, the market hasn't always been one thing. Though the juggernaut-like power that the Thomas brand has puts a chokehold on these others almost immediately. I can name almost every Thomas character. I can't name one from Chuggington. It's a me. Or any of these other ones, let that speak for itself. There is one show, however, that managed to work its way onto my television as frequently as Thomas did. And every time I had a Thomas toy out, one of these songs was never too far behind it. All aboard! Today we're talking about Choo Choo Soul, a show that, like Thomas, aimed to teach children things about life, and for sure helped to shape me into someone who loves everything about trains, but also was a bit more than that. Every kid's media features ditty music or sing-alongs. It's like an unwritten rule. This is something that kids, of course, enjoy, but parents, maybe not as much after the 44th or 45th time watching. Much like how Thomas was written with parents in mind, the music of Choo Choo Soul was written to be something parents could constantly put on and not want to die listening to, or at least as quickly. Personally, I'd say the results are pretty successful. Almost every song they made holds up to this day. And to explain this show for those who aren't as familiar with what they're seeing, Geneve Goings and her partner Constantine Abramson, or DC, together as a team operate this blue locomotive, with DC taking up the engineer's job and Geneve taking the role of a conductor. At the show's beginning, they take on a load of passengers, and by the end have sung them a catchy song teaching them a life lesson. Pretty simple stuff for a kid's show, and that's all it was supposed to be. It's how it all came to be that I find just a bit more interesting, though. And since we've taken so much time to dive into things like Thomas before, I thought it'd be fun to take a step off the beaten path and talk about this instead. Ladies and gentlemen, how exactly does a choo-choo get its soul? Well, let's find out together. Toe Jam and Earl, a classic game made by Sega about two alien rappers. Probably not where you expected this story to start, is it? But for the first Xbox installment of this series, Geneve Goings found herself working with two video game developers, that being Greg Johnson and Berg Treishman. Johnson recorded concepts, melodies, and whole tracks onto his cell phone, which then were emailed to Treishman to develop, and then, once in the studio, Goings would provide the vocals. The act would debut in 2004, with a 16-track studio album through CD Baby. It was described as kids' music that wouldn't drive parents crazy, though sadly this is now out of print, and I believe it was taken out of print shortly before the show actually aired. Speaking of airing, Choo Choo Soul aired in a way dissimilar to that of Thomas and Friends. You see, it's not really a show as much as it's an act, and this is something that's commonly mistaken, even by myself. Before there was Disney Junior, there was Playhouse Disney, which I grew up with. And beginning in May 2006, on the US programming block, a series of Choo Choo Soul programs began to air. These would follow the same format described earlier, with DC running the train and Geneve being a conductor, then picking up children and in a music video like short, teach them and the viewer a lesson about life. It was a very awkward blend of real life acting and CGI. But what the show lacked in visuals, it made up for in audio. It was tremendously successful, and eventually even had a Hebrew, Spanish, and Italian dub. On October 31st, 2006, Walt Disney Records released a 12-track album under the title of Choo Choo Soul. Most of their original work from 2004 is interestingly on this album, and this is something that's still actively available even on Apple Music to this day. If you're ever interested, be sure to check it out. And being that Choo Choo Soul is an act, you pet your ass they had a rocking tour life, even continuing on to this day, which all began largely in 2007. 
where the group performed live at Disney MGM Studios, as well as the Boston Globe Children's Festival on September 15th. and many, many more shows near Pennsylvania in June 2009, this being at Sesame Place. In 2011, the crew was the opening act for the Imagination Movers, and even played a show at the California State Fair of that same year. In SeaWorld Ontario's Just for Kids 2012 and 2013 events, the crew would also feature in a live performance. Let us not forget in 2016, when they read two stories at the White House Easter Egg Roll. One with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. Like I said, a pretty rockin' tour life. That sadly, as of recent, seems to have slowed down. That doesn't mean the group has, though. And to this day, Choo Choo Soul remains active on several social medias. For example, TikTok. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Choo Choo Soul filmed eight new video shorts in 2011, basically remaking older Disney songs in their style for the new network. That network being Disney Junior, what we're familiar with today. And pretty iconically, Geneve also sang the network's theme song, I Wanna Go, plus another 16 short songs just for the network. She continues to do such for Disney Junior to this day. And I'm very happy to say the soul that made Choo Choo Soul is still going very strong. It sadly may not be as popular now, but I believe you can still find airings of this on Disney Junior. So the next time you're thinking back on your childhood, the good old days of not having to worry about that upcoming test or whatever bill is due, remember what Geneve Goings and DC taught you. It's all about the bare necessities. And don't forget to take a second to take in the little things that life has to offer. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Either, either, either subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out.